For the first time since 2018, Taylor Swift is going on tour, creating a near hysteria among Swifties trying to score tickets. This includes back-to-back -back concerts at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles next August. But demand for those pre-sale tickets was so overwhelming this week, I personally was in the queue for three and a half hours, that sales to the general public planned for tomorrow have been canceled. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on the concert chaos. Well, that's right. This chaotic cancellation of ticket sales now has the spotlight on Ticketmaster, and some members of Congress are demanding action. It's me. Very <laughs> down to earth. I mean, I love it. It's just, it's fun. You know, my daughter loves it. I love it. It's fun to listen to. While there's no doubt Taylor Swift is beloved by millions, the disastrous process to buy tickets to her upcoming Eras tour has been reviled. I was upset personally, and it just sucks. Jillian Granfield and her mom were hoping to get tickets before Ticketmaster announced that sales to the general public scheduled for tomorrow have been canceled. Ticketmaster blamed the cancellation on extraordinarily high demands on ticketing systems and insufficient remaining ticket inventory to meet that demand. It's a little disappointing and stresses people out. There are a lot of true hard Swifty fans out there that would be devastated if they couldn't get tickets. And that devastation has already set in for millions of fans who were locked out of pre-sale ticket purchases this week. Ticketmaster says its computer system received three and a half billion requests, four times its previous all-time record, essentially overloading the system. Pretty much once we were in the queue, they stopped and said, like, your queue's been paused. And it sat there for well over two hours just like that. This is also renewing focus on Ticketmaster, which merged with Live Nation in 2010, as some political leaders and state attorneys general are calling for an investigation into whether Ticketmaster has too much of a monopoly on ticket sales for high-profile concerts like this. We're seeing a situation where people are trying to use the service and aren't getting the product that they've paid for, the product that they were promised. And that could be an indicator that there's not enough competition in the market. For Julie and Jillian Granfield, they're more focused on scoring tickets and not the legalities behind it. We got to see T. Swift. <laughs> we love T. Swift. <laughs> and just yesterday, Senator Amy Klobuchar wrote this letter to the head of Live Nation Entertainment, accusing the company of abusing its position in the market and demanding answers, giving the company until next Wednesday to respond.